Welcome back to another video and this week we are taking a look at the Unagi Model 1 scooter. I've had this for a little while now, you've probably seen my unboxing of it, I did previously. I've been riding this scooter on and off for a few months, so this is my review after riding it for quite a while and really getting a feel for it. I'll cut in some footage now, uh, cruising around Olympic Park with some friends on board and you can see how the scooter held up against some skates. I was born in the city, I was raised on its edges My pop work is life when it's gone blocks I found love in its center If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better I love the weather, even though it's fog 24-7 I love the people, this is city I met all my best friends And I wanna thank every brick I wanna thank every entrance to every building that I step in In this city of mine, oh you most my best moments in life See I fell in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to goof off And spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want Keek drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt And me and Jack would get stony, walk around and get lost Don't think I'll ever truly pay back all I was lucky to get Just by walking through the city, no, I'm a small part of this initial unboxing you can see I was pretty impressed with the work that had gone into the scooter it looks absolutely fantastic so much attention to detail and no expense spared on design quality of parts craftsmanship workmanship all this stuff tip-top absolutely perfect but sadly looks aren't everything so let's start with some of the good parts obviously the scooter looks amazing it weighs just 12 kilos, so getting it on and off the tube was no problem. I even switched tubes halfway to Stratford, carrying it up and down the stairs. Yet again, no problems whatsoever. Um, the scooter is powered by two 250 watt motors delivering a 15.5 miles an hour maximum speed. So this should fit in with the legal framework being looked at for the UK. So once the scooters are legalized, hopefully the Unagi will meet these requirements. Whether you want to ride the scooter is up to you. There are three speed modes, one, two, and three. Um, mode one, I got about 10 miles an hour out of. Mode two, about 12 miles an hour. And mode three, the maximum of 15.5 miles an hour. Apparently there is an unlock mode where you can achieve maximum power out of this. I'm sure you can find out how to do that on the internet. I won't put it in this video. The ride itself isn't too bad. Um, with the solid tyres though, it can be quite uncomfortable if there's any bumps. When you're on the flat, it's super smooth, absolutely no problem. As soon as you go over any little bumps, it really rattles up the stem and you're finding the handlebars are shaking. This I found was quite a problem because the accelerator and the um, speed change buttons are right by your thumb here. So every time you rattle over a bump, your thumb is whacking against the speed mode change and the accelerator at the same time. So if you're a beginner and you're riding in mode one and you're expecting a top speed of just 10 miles an hour, you rattle over some bumps, your thumb whacks the speed mode change, suddenly you're in mode three, full acceleration, and you're getting 50% extra speed that you didn't expect. This is a really bad design flaw and sadly it's not the only one. Weighing in at 100 kilos with the backpack I was carrying, I got a range of just eight miles on this scooter. I did a few range tests. It wasn't just the first time I went out. I cycled the batteries quite a few times and I still only got a maximum of eight miles. Now the website says approximately 15 miles. So I'm getting 50% of the expected range. Really not happy about this. I'd planned out a route to ride on and I ran out of power. So the first time I tried to shoot this video, the scooter just died on me. I was incredibly disappointed. I just pushed it back to the tube and came home and gave up. Second time, same thing. So I rode the scooter around a bit more, cycled the batteries a bit, tried it one more time, same result, eight miles. So there's four bars on the uh, display and these go down at approximately, well, you would think they would go down 25% um, 
chunks of battery. I found the first 50% was pretty slow. And then when I was down to two bars, I tried to go up a small hill, it went to zero straight away. It ran out on me and just stopped dead. The second time I did this, when it went down to red, the last bar, it flashes at you, warning you're about to run out of battery. I tried to head back to a plug socket I knew in Olympic Park. The scooter died well before I got there. This brings me on to kick pushing. The scooter has so much resistance that it's really difficult to kick push. Um, in fact, because I was wearing my helmet at the time, I got really hot, it was a sunny day. So I took the helmet off, I strapped the straps, the chin straps to my, uh, my sternum strap on my back, and then I carried on kick pushing. The lens of my helmet hit the brake lever and I don't know if you can see right the way across here. Um, it ruined a 90 pound polarized lens for my raw rock. First time this one's been out and um, yeah, it's gonna cost me 90 quid to replace. So thanks to Nagi for that one. The scooter has a built-in light, which is not too bad, although I would probably strap a couple of shred lights to it for better visibility. The scooter also has a built-in horn, which is just terrible. It's the most annoying beep. I, I mean, with a small speaker in this thing, you could make this scooter make any sound you wanted, and this is the best that someone could come up with. They've put so much design and care and attention into the build of this thing and it makes this horrible squealy beeping noise it just annoys me. You can ride the scooter in a dual or single motor mode, though I'm not sure why you would want to ride in a single motor mode, apart from maybe trying to conserve some battery or um, if you're just beginning. Um, dual motor mode, I must say, power delivery is excellent. Um, the acceleration curve is brilliant, the brakes are good and I had no problem with hills. I didn't actually put any good hills in the video but I can assure you, um, going up and down hills, absolutely no problem as long as the ride is smooth. So when it comes down to it, is the scooter any good? My opinion, no, not at all. If your commute is five miles of super smooth tarmac, then Okay, maybe door to door, it'll be absolutely fine. If your commute runs in any way outside of this incredibly narrow set of parameters, the scooter is useless and terrible. The ride over bumps around Olympic Park were starting to annoy me. Olympic Park's pretty smooth, as you can see from the video, the ground isn't too bad, but there's little bits of cobbles that are only this big and after a few of those rattling really starting to get on my nerves there's no reason why a little bit of um, shock absorption couldn't be built in the tires could be a little softer or they could have opted for pneumatics the range is abysmal i know they've gone for lightweight and adding more batteries would increase the range but i would rather go with a little bit more weight and a reliable journey than something that says it's going to last 15 miles tops out and gives up at around eight miles. After three attempts at reviewing the scooter and the scooter dying on me three times, I was just so annoyed with it. I've had to, I've had to come home and calm down because at the end of the last review, I'd had enough and I just wanted to chuck this thing in the river. Keep pushing it. In fact, I'd recharge the battery to ride back out to Olympic Park again to film this section. I charged the battery for an hour. I did under two miles and again, the scooter died on me. And for the fourth time, I had to kick push it back to a plug socket to charge just so I could get home. And this is the main problem. The scooter just has one job, to get you from here to here. That's it. Everything else is just fluff. The design, it doesn't matter. The styling, the fact it's got SpaceX carbon fiber in it, who cares? When you're pushing it, you're just going to hate it. So for £1,000, you could spend that on Ubers. <laughs>
buy a Xiaomi 365 and have plenty of change left over. I'm really sorry to give this a bad review, but this is totally honest. I would not recommend spending your money on this scooter. I've had to calm down three times to do this very polite review of the scooter. I'm sure if Unagi make a version 2, it will be brilliant. For the Unagi Model 1, no way. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. I was born in the city, I was raised on its edges. My pop work is life when it's gone, blocks up on love in its center. If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better. I love the weather, even though it's fog 24 7. I love the people. This is the city, I met all my best friends, and I wanna thank every brick. I wanna thank every entrance to every building that I step in in this city of mine. Oh, you most my best moments in life.